Dude, that board looks way crooked. What do you mean? Like it's not- oh! I've had a lot of requests to, to show property projects. Unfortunately, it's forecasted to rain pretty much all day. We're lucky that it hasn't started yet. We tore my barn down a couple months ago and I was able to save a bunch of this really nice, like heavy timber type wood. I have no experience building heavy timber stuff and I have very little experience building really anything, <laughs> anything quality. So don't judge me too closely. I got this all leveled out here for the, the base and I don't wanna to have to like pull permits or anything like that to put this thing here. So I'm building it just on concrete blocks. It's just to keep the horse dry this winter. And so I'm not too worried about it. It's really nice stuff. I mean, look at this. This is all cedar. The tundra is looking so girthy and so nice. Yeah, it's especially in person and the Tacoma. Ooh -wee. This is one of my favorite mods, the Diamondback. So sweet. I'm looking for, I'm looking for my moon shelter. There we go. Bacon delivery, thank you. Oh. Can you keep some for me, Mom? You can have some gas. What? This is my bacon. There you go. Oh, that's tons. So here in Washington State, we haven't had rain in several months, but it's forecasted to start dumping this week. And so I'm going to set up our portable awning from Moonfab just to provide us a little bit of shelter cover up our tools and give us a place to get out of the rain. I've been pretty impressed with this versatile little awning and it's been able to help me out quite a bit on several different vehicles. Because it just mounts with suction cups or string, it's really, really easy to set up in just a few minutes. Also, check out Diamondback covers. They provide dry and secure storage with these aluminum panels that cover the bed of your truck. I've really, really enjoyed having mine on my Toyota Tacoma and I'm thinking about getting one on the Tundra as well. Click the link below to find out if they make them for your vehicle. Hopefully I got enough hardware. This stuff was so expensive. I was starting to wish that I had, uh, oh, other drawer. I'm starting to wish that I had done the lag bolts. Yeah. I brought the impact driver and my half inch impact, so. All right. And I got my toolkit. Each of these was like 350. 200 on just hardware. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, nice. Then I have a bunch of bits. I got lights. Yes. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. This is great. What do you think about my frame there? Is that, is so you're, it, you're gonna, is that standard? OSHA approved? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Right. Off to air, let's, I'll walk you through what my thoughts were. Cause I was originally going to rent an auger for the skid steer. Right. And we are gonna like actually do it like a pole barn. Yes. The advantage of this is that it's like, it's off not the a, ground. It's not a permanent structure. Yes, and it's off exactly. the ground a little bit, yeah. <clears throat> it's level, but this isn't a perfect square. So we, we need to, I think the front board needs to be cut down. And once we go, once we go with this big stuff, like we can only use this big stuff. You can't go to the store and buy this shit, otherwise everything will be all over the right. place, you know? So after a few minutes of strategic planning, Mike and I set out to build the world's largest and most glorious horse enclosure. This one. Cool. Perfect. That looks legit. That's gangster. Yeah. You know what's awesome? It's like most, like 99% of people who built anything are not gonna be able to judge our work because they've never worked with heavy timber. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we, we just be like, well, yeah, this is how you do it with heavy timber. This, right. is, this, is, the, <laughs> this is the standard. This is, this, is the, this is the OSHA approved one. This is how our forefathers did it. Right. They got, uh, they got the 12 by 12 uh, you know, pavers. <laughs> Build the saloon. We're building the speakies. We should just make it as tall as possible so that we can do the walk. Because that'd be so Oh well, cool. yeah, because you figure like right here is probably like eight feet. Yeah. Right? Oh, 
I just hate wasting wood. You know, this this is nice. This is precious, heavy timber. Yeah. You know, we can't cut the tops off it. We gotta build us a, a horse castle. This means you got a taller wall to fill in, which I see no problem with that. I see no problem with that. We'll figure it out. Here's the idea. We decided to just go big because one, it's a shame to cut that lumber down. <laughs> Two, um, I want to put a, lo a loft in there. Oh, so, okay. So like we could store stuff and the kids can sleep, have sleepovers up there and. That's not so. a good idea. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so it doesn't <laughs> like. It cool thing to sleep in. And when I was a kid, I had a loft, a woodshed loft that we slept in. Then you burned it down. And then I burned it down. <laughs> He didn't tell me that part. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Nailed it. Look what Des brought us. It's epic. Giant plate of nachos. All the sandwiches we can eat. I think there's a yellow jacket on this one. Ooh, my wife is unbeatable. was the black ones on the long side, right? Yep. And then the brown ones on the other side. On the... Dude, that board looks way crooked. What do you mean? Like it's not... Oh! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Fuck. <laughs> not the ladder. Hey, hit the stomp, we're good. Woo, shit. That was oh, scary. Oh, we lost the steak. This was my favorite rig. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, that was scary. I'm at nine and a quarter. Okay, so go. It also depends on where your wall is, though. Yeah, so I'll just leave it there and we'll go from there. Yeah, why don't I? I'm gonna tack it real quick. Yeah, just, so, yeah. just so nobody dies. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike comes up from the woods after taking a piss and he's like, dude, and he found some CDs like eight miles. <laughs> Eight miles, Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow. And that one's cooked. And he oh, finds this little thing. I've never. Look at this. This is not mine, by the way. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't bought Well, it's on your property. Well, it's mine now. <laughs> Look at this. How old do you think these are? <laughs> Lubricated lifestyles. If my wife found these, <laughs> I'd be dead. They expired in 2011. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Who makes it? Who, who walks around? What kind of, <laughs> what kind of gangster? <laughs> dude. I have never seen that. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> who is so confident he buys, a, you know. A plastic container. I, I can't tell. Does that mean you just lay, like, lay so much pipe that you need a plastic container or it's so infrequent that you need a plastic container. Right? Well, I mean, they were next to Eight Mile and Cheryl Crow, so. Oh, he's probably a baller. <laughs> wow, previous homeowner was just a gangster. <laughs> that is so cool. It says, uh, wear your rubbers. It has a little cow on it. It says, wear your rubbers. A, a cow? Comment in the section below for a for a chance to win <laughs> these expired rubbers. Yeah, he, he went you. treasure hunting in the woods and came out with like five treasures. Cheryl Crow's got a chip in it. No, she was the Scratch. songbird of her generation. What about Eight Mile though? Because that would actually be kind of cool. This was some kid's treasures. He hid this from, from his parents. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he's got his condoms. You can only imagine what's what's on that other disc. Well, the structure's coming along. <laughs> yes. Oh, it plays crystal clear, man. Freaking 15 years later. Wow, they all work. I think it's safe to say you got yourself a great CD. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude! I'm so excited for you, man. You can... <laughs> I'll see him just standing so erect now. Wow. Okay. This is gonna suck. I've been. <laughs> I was sick for about a day and a half-ish. I worked out today, kind of helped clear it out a little bit, but the whole family caught a cold and so I wasn't able to finish the 
horse enclosure. <clears throat> I can just get a little bit done today on the horse enclosure. Then tonight I can chill out and do my computer stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Dude, I can't even tell you guys how stoked I am about the Tundra now. I genuinely feel bad for ripping on it so hard, but like once, once we got the wheels and tires on it, it's like it's a completely different truck. It rides so nice. It feels awesome. And I know, dude, and look at this, like I got my plywood for the roof today. I got some alfalfa hay for the horse. Okay. Fall time now. It's about to be winter time. And, and, and you don't want the horse to be cold? Right. I don't want the cowboy being cold. Oh, okay. That's why you are making that. Mm -hmm. This is a good example. I've never worked with heavy timber. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not a builder. The conversation for some people just stops there and they just decide not to do anything. They wait and then they never really realize their goals. So getting out of your comfort zone and just sort of like committing. Sometimes I say committing and sometimes I say submitting yourself because sometimes you just throw yourself into a situation no idea how you're going to get through it. Just need to kind of get into that hot water and that's what's going to force you to adapt and learn and grow. I got the, uh, the plywood on the roof. It looks really good. I really like this overhang. I'm not sure how much overhang I'm allowed to leave, but if I could just leave that much, it'd be perfect. It looks very lodge-like. And I kind of wish that I had like maybe anticipated doing that, put some support on it or something. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I have this metal that we salvaged. This was all free. And uh, I'm going to just, it's a bunch of different lengths. I think I have plenty. But I'm gonna take like the most common length, which are these ones here. And if they fit there, I'll just cut it down to whatever size this is. Made it a very long way with the gigantic horse enclosure. I'm super proud of this thing, man. Like, so far I'm into this, like, I don't know, not even 200 bucks. And it looks amazing. Like, it literally looks like, like a lodge. So I'm about to go get some gravel. This is something that's like not traditional whatsoever, but I'm going to pour gravel inside of this opening now. And I'm gonna just let it kind of flow out of these gaps. And that's gonna cover up uh, some of these bricks here and this stump. And then what I'm gonna do is lay horse mat over top. And that's gonna give me like a nice floor or foundation for the giant horse enclosure. And then you'll see like, it's pretty damn sturdy, but we haven't done much cross bracing except for this back wall. To get up there and cut these long pieces off the back, which should be pretty straightforward and easy. You can see I just sort of layered them all up there and I need to put a piece of edging on the side there but then boom dude looks great so Max's heavy duty construction company is in business I'm uh I'm taking I'm taking jobs and hopefully the battery's still charged because we left the door open oh wet seat
getting done tonight. I'm running out of daylight. It's six o'clock. I got like 25 minutes left. And I really want my horse to stay here tonight. Well guys, it's been a couple days since we worked on the uh, horse enclosure. Unfortunately, that sickness that I decided to like work through, um, well it came back and it came back with a vengeance. It wiped out the whole family. Des and I were like completely totaled and the kids were like fetting for themselves. It was actually really scary. I was starting to come back around and uh, so I didn't finish the horse enclosure, but I wanted to at least try to finish this video and get it out to you guys. Um, Cause I can't, I can't fall behind or, or I'll go bankrupt. So um, this sickness was poorly timed, but on the horse enclosure, we got these uh, really awesome looking plywood walls. It's looking really good. And we added this little lean-to section which is it's not complete yet, but that's just to store about 30 to 40 hay bales um, so that I could drop them off underneath there, keep them dry, and then I can just transfer them into his little area in here where he's got his hay. So, of course, now it's all filthy, but you can see how the floor turned out. It actually worked pretty good. I need to flip the mat up in this little area and rake some of the stuff around and then try to get that lip to go down, but... Yeah, it's just a rubber floor. Works perfect for the horse, compacted well. And uh, since I sort of like filled that box, I didn't really talk much about why I filled the box. Well, there was a tree right here in the middle and there was a stump. And so I was like, if I can build this thing around there and then just pour gravel over the stump, we won't have to worry about pulling it out, which would cause like a huge chasm underneath and just make a big issue. And so I just covered that up over that tree. Since we poured rocks into the interior of it, like into the inside, it like made it so much more solid. So the thing is like super sturdy, almost as if we had actually augered it down and put it down into the ground. I'm really happy with how it came out. I like how we used this like ledger board to place all these boards on. It made it really easy. We didn't have to uh, worry about our angles or anything. Yeah, so I still have some work to do on it. I'm gonna put some uh, tinted plastic around the top to let light in and then maybe eventually put a gate across the front to kind of keep him in there. But I gotta organize this area up and I gotta get well before I can do that. And I gotta catch up on work. So um, that is about the best we could do. I'm sorry you guys won't be able to see a final version of this thing until maybe a later episode. So uh, I'm just I'm just too sick, man. Uh, I'm happy to be on my feet and out of bed, but I just, I won't be able to get, I can hardly hold this camera up right now. It's killing me. We were destroyed, let me tell you what. It was brutal. So um, I'm sorry that we're a little bit behind on videos. I'll try to catch up. I got a lot of work to do. Of course, it's holiday season with Black Friday and all that stuff, so it's, a lot of work for my clients stuff as well so just busy guy right now and uh doing the best i can to get the videos out there but i hope that you guys enjoyed these videos if you like them leave a thumbs up i appreciate it if you want to see how this thing turns out in the long run uh, hit that subscribe button and check back in a little bit later and uh if you guys have any suggestions on videos if you want advice on anything if you're uh, dealing with anything um, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to comment on it or talk about it in uh, future videos. But, but otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. All right, bye.